Hi, and welcome to Taro Movies. An emergency or space blanket belongs into each first aid kit. But how to make an ultimate low-budget winter survival kit out of it, I like to share in this video with you. So thanks for joining me. And this winter survival kit looks like this. So all we have to do is put about four tea candles, a lighter and some straps into our kit. And it will be still small enough to put it nearly in each pocket, like in my jacket, my trouser or in my backpack. I recommend this winter survival kit for nearly all outdoor activities, like snowshoe hikes, snowboarding, skiing, just being out in nature. Everybody of us can get in a situation where we have to stay on one place and wait for help. So the most important thing in this time is to keep our body warm. So what we're going to do in a situation like this is taking our kit and first of all we're taking this base blanket out of the pack. So just to make sure that the cut is not getting bigger, I secure it with the tapes. Then of course we need the position to sit quite comfortable for a longer time. As the next step, I'm pulling the emergency blanket over my head. As the next step, I light one of those tea lights. I was testing them before and they were burning about up to four hours. All we have to do now is just wait to see how warm it gets beneath our blanket with the tea light and our body heat. I'm sitting here about 15 minutes and as you might see it's slowly getting dark and a little bit colder. So let's see how warm it is beneath the blanket. It's about 23 degrees Celsius. Even after a short time, it's getting quite warm beneath the blanket. It's not only depending on the candle, of course, also depending on our body heat. But the left and the right side, they are not really closed, so I feel a little bit cold on those sides. What I'm trying to do now is take a second emergency or space blanket and pull it over me. Even here, after a short time, the temperature is rising over 20 degrees Celsius. The silver inside of the space blanket keeps me very warm. In a real emergency, I would take my snowshoe and put them beneath my boots, so I have no direct contact to the snow there. Another good thing on the rescue blanket is the golden outside. 
it makes it much more easier to get recognized in the white snow and makes it also easier for the people who are looking for you and trying to help. I've been using those rescue blankets already in other ways and I put the links to those videos beneath in the description box. I've learned this particular technique from my very, very good friends and bushcraft instructor partners Susanne Williams and Sepp Waldhandwerk. Thanks a lot. I know it looks a little bit funny when I'm sitting there with those blankets over my head, but I'm sure this is a technique who can save lives. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. I hope you like it and you will join Taro Movies the next time again. Thanks for watching. Tschüss, ciao and bye bye.